नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण एम्ब्री सिंग टेक्स थर्टी नाइन एंड टेक्स फोर्टी ऑफ चैप्टर नाइन द पासिंग अवे ऑफ भीष्म देव इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्ण ऑफ फर्स्ट एंड ऑफ क्रिएशन ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम टेक्स थर्टी नाइन विजय रथ कुटुंब अत तोत्रे धृत हय ऋषि मणि तच छ्रिये क्षणीय भगवती रतिर्स्तु मे मुमूर्षोर यमी ह निरीक्ष हता गता ह स्वरूपम एट द मोमेंट ऑफ डेथ लेट माय अल्टीमेट अट्रैक्शन बी टू श्री कृष्ण द पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड आई कॉन्सेंट्रेट माय माइंड अपॉन द चैरियट ड्राइवर ऑफ अर्जुन who stood with a whip in his right hand and a bridle rope in his left who was very careful to give protection to arjun's chariot by all means those who saw him on the battlefield of kurukshetra attained their original forms after death a pure devotee of the lord constantly sees the presence of the lord within himself because of being transcendentally related by loving service such a pure devotee cannot forget the lord for a moment this is called trance the mystic yogi tries to concentrate upon the super soul by controlling the senses from all other engagements and thus he ultimately attains samadhi a devotee more easily attains samadhi or trance by constantly remembering the lord's personal feature along with his holy name fame pastimes etc therefore the concentration of the mystic yogi and that of the devotee are not on the same level the concentration of the mystic is mechanical whereas that of the pure devotee is natural in pure love and spontaneous affection Bhishma Dev was a pure devotee, and as a military marshal, he constantly remembered the battlefield feature of the Lord as Partha Sarthi, the chariot driver of Arjun. Therefore, the Lord's pastime as Partha Sarthi is also eternal. The pastimes of the Lord, beginning from his birth at the prison house of Kansa up to the Maushala Lila at the end, all move one after another in all the universes, just as the clock hand moves from one point to another. and in such past times his associates like the pandavas and bhishma are constant eternal companions so bhishma dev never forgot the beautiful picture of the lord as partha sarthi which even arjun could not see arjun was behind the beautiful partha sarthi while bhishma was just in front of the lord as far as the military feature of the lord is concerned bhishma dev observed this with more relish than arjun all the soldiers and persons on the battlefield of kurukshetra attained their original spiritual form like the lord after their death because by the causeless mercy of the lord they were able to see him face to face on that occasion the conditioned souls rotating in a cycle from the aquatics up to the form of brahma are all in the form of maya or the form obtained by one's own actions and awarded by material nature the material forms of the conditioned souls are all foreign dresses and when the conditioned soul becomes liberated from the clutches of material energy he attains his original form the impersonalist wants to attain the impersonal brahma effulgence of the lord but that is not at all congenial to the living sparks parts and parcels of the lord therefore the impersonalists again fall down and get material forms which are all false to the spirit soul a spiritual form like the lords either 200 or 400 is attained by the devotees of the lord either in the vaikunthas or in the golok planet according to the original nature of the soul this form which is sent person spiritual is the swarup of the living being and all the living beings who participated on the battlefield of kurukshetra on both sides attained their swarup as confirmed by bhishma dev So Lord Sri Krishna was not merciful only to the Pandavas. He was also merciful to the other parties because all of them attained the same result. Bhishma Dev wanted the same facility also, and that was his prayer to the Lord. Although his position as an associate of the Lord is assured in all circumstances, the conclusion is that whoever dies looking on the personality of Godhead within or without attains his swaroop, which is the highest perfection of life. Text forty. Lalita Gati Vilasa Vala Guhasa. प्रणय निरीक्षण कल्पितो रूमाना The damsels of Raja Bhumi attained qualitative oneness with the Lord by dancing with him on an equal level, embracing him in nuptial love, smiling at him in joy, and looking at him with a loving attitude. The relation of the Lord with Arjun is undoubtedly praiseworthy for devotees like Bhishma Dev, but the relation of the gopis with the Lord is still more praiseworthy because of their still more purified loving service. By the grace of the Lord, Arjun was fortunate enough to have the fraternal service of the Lord as chariot driver, but the Lord. 
did not award Arjun with equal strength. The gopis, however, practically became one with the Lord by attainment of equal footing with the Lord. Bhishma's aspiration to remember the gopis is a prayer to have their mercy also at the last stage of his life. The Lord is satisfied more when his pure devotees are glorified. And therefore, Bhishma Dev has not only glorified the acts of Arjun, his immediate object of attraction, but has also remembered the gopis who were endowed with unrivaled opportunities while rendering loving service to the Lord. The gopis, equality with the Lord should never be misunderstood to be like the Sayujya liberation of the impersonalist. The equality is one of perfect ecstasy. Where the differential conception is completely eradicated for the interest of the lover and the beloved become identical. Hare Krishna.